What if we were to tell you that reports of UFO on the moon started being reported as soon as records began being taken? Some of the eyewitness encounters range from lightning to volcanoes on the moon to explain all the activity, but more frequent and notable is the observance of white spots on the moon, a phenomenon that is still occurring without explanation to this day. Wait till you hear this. So it's all documented from around the year 1540, believe it or not, and going all the way into the 20th century. NASA actually have all this in their archive, and we find it pretty compelling to say the least. You could argue that they did not know what was on the moon during these observations, so their imagination was left loose on all sorts of scenarios. But at the same time, you could classify this as eyewitness reports from non-influence conceptions and what was reported at the time could in fact be activity on the lunar surface. In 1725, it was documented that a beam of light was observed crossing the crater of Pluto and fading into an obscure part of the crater. Could this be a description of a lunar base? And if so, has it been investigated? It is incredible that these reports actually exist over a 400 year period of time before we even had flight. It proves an overwhelming interest was being asserted on Earth in regards to the moon because of all the activity that was there to be observed through telescopes. Other reports, and there are hundreds by the way, are of white or silver spots emerging from the dark side of the moon before moving through the lunar atmosphere, leading to speculation that an active volcano on the dark side was actually spewing out debris across the moon. Isn't that astonishing guys? We know, well, we think we know the moon is inactive in this regard, so what were these people seeing? We can at least speculate that a civilization was on the moon or in the moon's hollow core, and they were there active in some regard. All these reports simply cannot all be coincidental. They are similar and span hundreds of years apart. It's crazy. In the year 1790, William Herschel reported something extremely interesting, and he can be regarded as a very reliable person, and was held in the highest esteem for his period, and he reports the following. During a total eclipse of the moon, I saw at least 150 small bright red luminescent spots. Now come on, Herschel is of course famous for the discovery of Uranus and Enceladus, so it's safe to say he had a nice telescope in which to make these lunar observations, yet he couldn't explain what was going on on the moon's surface. He is in fact describing a fleet of UFOs. In 1821, brilliant flashing spots were again observed, and at this time people were convinced that the moon was full of volcanoes on the dark side. One report describes the following. I saw fiery spots on the moon, an experience I had not witnessed before. I have observed her often these past 40 years, and it appears to me, between contrast of light and color, that there are at least two active volcanoes on the moon. And the reports continue like this, scores of people witnessing the same phenomenon, and in 1881 it is documented that many observers witnessed something of pyramidal in origin. After the reports in the archive, we then begin to see reports that an unusual shadow that was not previously present at this location is now dominating the archive. Doesn't this seem like something we've seen coming into the moon's atmosphere? Landing and was now visible from the earth. At least the shadow, a pyramid shaped UFO was reported between 1881 and 1882 at the locations of the crater Eudoxus and the evidence for this occurrence is sitting pretty much in plain sight. And then again in 1888, a triangular shaped object, again, is observed from huge telescopes on the Earth. We could go all day with this guys, but we will just link this below for you to go and check out for yourself. Anomalous shadows, suspected volcanoes, beams of light, white spots flying about, pyramid or triangle shaped objects, fiery explosions, activity on the dark side of the moon, and a light spotted in dozens of craters, as well as a strange report from 1948 where a confused astronomer makes an entry stating that the two separate areas at the Picard crater appeared and we quote this now, featureless. 
What does this mean, you would have to wonder? Featureless to us means nothing there. You have to wonder the exact contextual meaning of that entry. It's a strange one indeed. As we developed Earth observatories, especially in the build-up to the space race, these reports kept coming in of strangeness. Flashes were reported in the 50s, and they were famous bright spots, famous among astronomers. It just continued and continued until the Lunar Orbiter program, when these entries seemingly now became classified as America now turned its sights to actually landing a human on the moon. No doubt these reports from the 1500s and spanning over 400 years where objects are seen constantly are of something that is on the moon. Maybe that is what the moon landings were all about in the first place, to see what the hell was up there. Why have they not been back and why all of a sudden, when other nations announce plans of lunar exploration, are the United States suddenly declaring that they are going back as well? Something is up there all right if there was a worker civilization on the moon as we develop technology on Earth, then perhaps the advancements we made technologically were the direct results of the material that was recovered. In the past 50 years alone, we've made quantum leaps compared to the past thousand years. It's crazy, but it's true.